reclaim their mobility. They've got clinics in Phoenix, Scottsdale, Peoria, and Chandler, and you can get your free consultation by calling 602-837-PAIN, 602-837-PAIN for QC Kinetics. Hey, if we want to beat the heat, gear up in a new Ford. It's our freedom of choice, gas, hybrid, or all EV. Paul Calvis here. Our desert Ford dealers have the perfect SUV for you. I drive a Ford Edge, my wife and Explorer. You get all the tech, all the comfort. Plus, get a Ford Protect Premium Care Extended Service Plan so you're protected from unforeseen covered repairs for up to the earlier of five years or 60,000 miles. And right now, get no charge five years, 60,000 mile Ford Protect Premium Care plus a Ford Credit Flex Buy with 3.9% APR financing for 66 months and $1,000 in flex buy cash in a 2024 Ford Explorer. Same goes for the new Ford Escape, where we get peace of mind with a no-charge, five-year, 60,000-mile Ford Protect Premium Care, plus a Ford Credit Flex Buy with 1.9% financing for 66 months and $1,000 in flex buy cash on a 2024 Ford Escape. But hurry, it all ends July 8th at buyfordnow.com. That's buyfordnow.com. KMVP FM Phoenix. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. On the Arizona Sports app and on 98.7. I'm Mitch Varel. This with the latest from the Arizona Sports Desk, presented by Parker & Sons. Heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical. Nothing to see here when it comes to the Phoenix Suns and any rumors that you may or may not have seen because owner of the Suns, Matt Ishbia, on his personal X account today. Quote, Phoenix loves Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant loves Phoenix, and we are competing for a championship this year because we have the team to do it. Close quote. You can see what else the owner of the Suns had to say, and you can see all the reporting that has caused quite a stir across the NBA right now on the Arizona Sports app and ArizonaSports.com. And then later tonight, the Diamondbacks looking to follow up their win over the Twins last night with another win tonight. It'll be Ryan Nelson against Simeon Woods Richardson. First pitch is at 6.40. Pre-game coverage starts at 6, and you can listen to it all right here on 98.7 FM and the Arizona Sports app. The latest is brought to you by Ready Services Plumbing and Air Conditioning, your home of the no-fee emergency. Proudly serving the Valley for over 65 years. Online at readyservices.com. Arizona, Arizona sports. sports, the local, the sports, local leader. sports leader. Burns and Gambo, the 4 o'clock reset. 4 o'clock reset. Mitch Farrell, this is here, and he's got his finger poised over the reset button, ready to punch it and start the second half of the show with an update on everything that's he going on He sounds so sports. excited. He really does. What's up, man? Big deep sigh. Oh, boy. Pay no attention oh. to what Phoenix is saying. They want out of Kevin Durant right now. So, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to abbreviate everything that has happened with the Suns regarding the Suns in the last 24 hours. So, Mikkel Bridges got traded from the Nets to the Knicks for a hefty haul of picks. But then the Nets turned around and traded the picks that they got from the Suns in the Kevin Durant trade to the Houston Rockets in order to get their own picks back. So they have the rights to their draft capital again after trading them away for James Harden years ago. So then that led to the reports that Houston is set to dangle the Phoenix picks in front of the Suns for a trade focused on getting Kevin Durant. But also apparently Devin Booker, like what? But then Woj moments later confirmed what we already knew, that the Suns are not trading any of their big three. And to further stoke the fire, Stephen A. Smith this morning, what you just heard in the reset button, don't listen to Phoenix and they want out of KD. But they should also trade Devin Booker. What are we doing here? So much noise that the owner of the Suns Matt Ishbia posted on his own X account that KD loves the Suns and the Suns love KD, further implying he will not be traded. Did I miss anything? Any questions? And that's the reset, everyone. Thanks for that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> was... All that was missing was Benny Hill. It was perfect. Benny Hill or girl from Petaluma. I was floating between the two. Yeah, I mean, look, whatever, whatever, all the fires that have been spoke, stoked in the last 24 hours, Matt Ishbia, and that's the big takeaway, felt compelled to get on Twitter and whether he was trying to defend the honor of the NBA draft or put our focus back on the NBA draft where it needed to be, he felt compelled out. It could have been more strongly worded. Sure. He could have come out and said definitively, we are not trading Kevin Durant. He didn't quite go there. He got about Kellen as close to that as you can get without saying it. I mean, he, I, I thought he threw a big old bucket of cold water on Stephen A. Smith this morning with that tweet. Just the question you have to ask yourself is how much of this is smoke and how seriously are we taking it? Like, do we think this is actually smoke, that something is amiss with Kevin Durant? And if we do, how seriously are we taking it? I choose to acknowledge that there is not smoke just yet. 
but it's really easy to light that fire to stick with the metaphor. It's yeah, it's very easy to attach Kevin Durant to anything and get going for a couple of days, which just so happens to be taking place during probably the least uh, attractive or hyped discussed draft in like the last 20 years. Isn't that interesting it's, how that worked out? Yeah, it's funny how huh. one of the most boring drafts of recent memory, let's spice it up with a little low-hanging fruit of Kevin Durant trade speculation. Speaking of Stephen A. Smith. Yes! That was part of his minute-plus-long reaction last night to when the Knicks reportedly acquired Mikel Bridges reuniting the Villanova 2016 championship squad. First, y'all's reaction to Bridges crossing Bridges to the city and leaving Brooklyn. I, look, I, it's so easy to root for Mikel Bridges, and because of that, Mikel Bridges is such a likable, lovable guy. He's got me as a Knicks fan next year. I mean, it, it's it really is. I, I will root for that team because of Mikel Bridges, and I never thought I'd say that about a New York team ever. The Knicks are always really high in my league pass rankings because it's it's Breen and Clyde, like the best basketball duo in a booth that we've pretty much ever had. And now I get to watch probably what's going to be the most fun team in the league next year. They're they're number one for me, the team I'm going to be watching the most besides the Suns for, for sure. I can't wait to see how they look. So the members of that 2016 Nova Championship team that are now members of the Knicks, Mikel Bridges, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart. And Dante DiVincenzo. You remember that 2016 Nova Championship team. Stephen A. Smith, I'm not sure he remembers. This is from April 4th, 2016. Flashback. Villanova doesn't have a real NBA prospect. No, nope, they don't. Squad. <laughs> End of flashback. This is just a crazy thing to say when Mikel Bridges is on that team. I understand the other guys, like Brunson's too small, Dante uh, doesn't have a definable skill, Josh Hart, uh, what position is he? But the <laughs> modern NBA wing was on that team, and you looked at it and said, I don't see an NBA that's guy funny. on there. That's really, really funny. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's, that's the reporting, awesome. by the way. That's that's, 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 yeah, our, that's, the, that's our guy. That's our, that's our guy. Anything right else there. you want to break, bud? We're listening. Knicks keep loading up as well. Just reported moments ago from Adrian Wojnarowski, free agent forward OG Ananobi intends to sign a five-year, $212.5 million contract to be back with the Knicks. It includes a player option as well as a trade kicker. So incentive if he ends up being moved in the near future. They're going to be monsters. They're, they're, they're going to be monsters defensively. They, they are... Look, look, Boston will perpetually, for the next few years, be the favorite in the Eastern Conference. The New York Knicks, if they're healthy come playoff time, will be a very, very tough out for any Eastern Conference team. I think very your takeaway from the playoffs was, man, that was kind of boring. Where was that great series? It was healthy Knicks versus healthy Celtics, but the Knicks were yep. just decimated by injuries. No Julius Randle. It was really hard for OG to get around the court. They had other guys out as well. That was the series we were supposed to get. I think the Knicks are, were underrated last year. They're going to be more underrated next year. I think they're right there in finals odds with anyone. And the trade that just came down moments ago, or at least was reported moments ago, we have a slight update on that. To refresh, the Wizards are trading forward Denny Advi, Avdia excuse me, to the Portland Trailblazers in exchange for Malcolm Brogdon's expiring contract, the 14th overall pick in tonight's draft, and then the second most favorable of the 2029 first round picks that the Blazers possess, as well as two second rounders in 2029. When we get to 2029, someone's just going to tell me what the draft order is because I'm getting so confused by the second favorable, third most favorable, whatever that means. Picks. Imagine doing his job and trying to get clarity on like what swap is when and all that kind of stuff. Your head must just be spinning, spinning. Yep. Low key thing here, Burns, that we haven't talked about yet. Houston wants to win now. They're making these moves to, for, to make another move, and we're talking about playing and all these great teams in the West. Houston rounded out the year very strong. We cannot rule them out right now as a team that could jump into the top six and take one of those spots that the Suns are going for, especially if they make a big trade for Trey Young, Brandon Ingram, whoever. Yeah, and I was going to say, maybe we can rule them out for not getting Kevin Durant, but they clearly have the inventory to make a trade for somebody, and that makes them a team to, to at least respect. Maybe not fear, but you got to respect To Kellen's point, one of those Atlanta guards seems very enticing if you yeah, can't Trae get Young, a, DeJounte Murray, yeah. Kevin Durant or a Devin Booker. Uh, quick NFL note. Teams were informed today that there will be no supplemental draft uh as far as significance and relatability jalen thompson a former supplemental draft pick here on the cardinals yeah yeah that's uh i but not a lot you know not a ton of players come from that but no. yeah jalen thompson certainly one of the most it's notable like the, here's the your second opportunity in case yeah. you didn't apply for the actual draft 
college baseball news. I don't know if either of you have been aware of this. Uh, Jim Schlossnagel, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the uh, former head coach of Texas A&M. They, of course, just lost to Tennessee on Monday in the College World Series. Afterwards, he was asked about rumors connecting him to the open Texas Longhorns job. I think it's pretty selfish of you to ask me that question, to be honest with you. Uh, but my, uh, I left my family to be the coach at Texas A&M. I took the job at Texas A&M to never take another job again. And that hasn't changed in my mind. Um, that's unfair to talk about something like that. That'd be like you asking Montgomery if he's going to sign in the draft. But I understand you got to ask the question. But I gave up a big part of my life to come take this job. And I've poured every ounce of my soul in this job. And I've given this job every single ounce I can possibly give it. To write that. Introduced as coach of the Longhorns today, by the way. <laughs> Did apologize to Richard Zane, who so. is the reporter. But I still, so. what a bad look. I thought you were going to continue the SpongeBob thing. A few moments later. <laughs> I didn't save that time card, unfortunately. Uh, You're good, yeah, man. Yeah, so he apologized to the guy. He did. Okay. He yeah, did. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's Roy Williams all over again, right? Didn't he do the same thing? Josh Rosen is our guy. Yeah, 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 Josh yeah, Rosen is our guy. Like Nick the... Saban wants you to stop asking him these questions mm -hmm. so he can take the job at Alabama. Mm -hmm. the it happens. It, it, it happened. But you know at, least, at least he apologized. Money. Guy. Money's really cool, man. Money's it's, great. It, it's it doesn't make does it buy happiness. No, the guy who normally sits in that spot. <laughs> it sure doesn't. Wow, he, through the osmosis of the chair, Kellen has become a money. Maybe buys if you I was in Norway guy. for a week, I would feel a lot more differently about that question. Kel, but can for you now, turn around? Can you see no. that, that chair you're sitting in has gambo uh, written ask me in silver if sharpie? My car doesn't start when I'm in the parking lot tonight at eleven. Maybe it buys a little more happiness, but for now, no. I want to squeeze this last one in squeeze because away. this is significant in terms of soccer fans. Alex Morgan has been left off the Team USA roster for the upcoming Olympics, her first time off since she was first with the team in 2008. So long time since Alex Morgan has not been a part of Team After USA. After all she's done for the sport, all the ratings they've been drawing in recently. Are you? Oh, I forgot we're doing that. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wrong sport. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I just heard left off team and a woman and just went nuts. <laughs> you, just, you just went crazy with that? Yeah. That's All your right. 4 o'clock race. Thank you, Mitch. We appreciate it. Everybody's caught up now on what's going on in sports. When we come back, it's a question that uh, those of us who like to play cards every now and then are faced with when we're sitting at a table. At what point do you just get up and walk away and save your fight for another day? And are the Suns at that point when it comes to Kevin Durant? That is next on the Burns and Gambo Show. D-backs, twins. Here comes the 2-0. Swing, line drive, left field, caught by Gurriel. A game-saving catch, and the Diamondbacks hang on for a 5-4 win over Minnesota. D-backs twins, game two of the three-game series live from Chase Field tonight at 6 on Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Arizona Building Supply is a new name in Arizona, but with a long history. Local companies with long-standing reputations across the valley and state, including RK Building Supplies, Foxworth Galbraith, TrustFab, Crown Components, and Holderness Supplies are now operating as one to serve the statewide construction needs of contractors, builders, and homeowners. Customers can continue to rely on Arizona Building Supply, a division of USLBM, who is now the second largest building material supplier in the U.S. From lumber and hardware, trusses and wall panels, windows, doors, hardware, and soon-to-come cabinets, Arizona Building Supply has the structural and aesthetic components to bring any plan together. They also have regional home centers in Yuma, Prescott, Payson, and Hebra, local and easy-to-navigate retail centers with a variety of products for general home improvement, but also a source for design inspiration and upgrades like cabinets, windows, and doors. Wherever you are in the state and whatever your project calls for, there is an Arizona Building Supply near you ready to help. Find out more at azbuildingsupply.com. I'm attorney Dwayne Cates from 1-800-NO-CUFFS. If you're arrested for a DUI, call 1-800-NO-CUFFS and talk to an actual DUI attorney. Please call 1-800-NO-CUFFS because no one looks good in handcuffs, unless you're into that sort of thing. 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Summer is here and the heat is on. How's your AC unit hanging in? If it could use a tune-up, there is one place to call Parker & Sons. An AC tune-up will save you some money on your utility bills, it'll make sure your system is running safely, and it'll give you the peace of mind that your AC unit will be at its best in these scorching summer months. If you need an emergency repair, Parker & Sons will be there in hours, not days. 
So give Parker and Sons a call at 602, the number two, then R-E-P-A-I-R. Dan Bickley here with my man, Shane O'Hanrahan. And Shane, what's going on this summer at Chapman BMW? We got a lot going on, Bick. Financing as low as 2.99%, a great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles that have gone through an extensive inspection. And if you ever thought about going electric, we have the incredible lease deal on the BMW i4 starting at $449 a month. So come on down, say hello, and get your hookup. You can shop online at ChapmanBMW.com. That's Chapman BMW. Two great locations. One great experience. If you're struggling to lose weight, go to Red Mountain Weight Loss. We'll show you how shedding those unwanted pounds has never been easier with a new FDA-approved drug called semaglutide that's revolutionizing medical weight loss. It's the primary ingredient in Ozempic, and it helps people lose up to 15 pounds a month easily. It's a total game changer. At Red Mountain Weight Loss, we have semaglutide in stock and ready to ship today, available in either the injection or tablet form. You'll also get the support of our licensed medical team, helping you with meal plans to speed your progress and medical solutions to prevent side effects and muscle loss. All for less than half the price of Ozempic. Put this game changer to work for you. At Red Mountain Weight Loss, you'll get quality semaglutide, your choice of injection or tablets, and all for half the price of Ozempic. Schedule your free consultation today. Go to redmountainweightloss.com or dial pound 250 on your phone. Keyword. Red Mountain Weight Loss. Aren't video doorbells great? They save us from uninvited visitors and awkward conversations. Unfortunately, they can't stop all unwanted guests. Termites don't use the doorbell. They invade your home silently through cracks in the foundation, plumbing protrusions, and stem walls. Nate here, owner of Blue Sky Pest Control. Whether you have termites or just want to prevent them, we can help. Call 602 Blue Sky and schedule your complimentary termite inspection today. Hello, Blue Sky. Goodbye, pass. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Burns and Gambo talk NBA draft now. Kellen Olson from ArizonaSports.com and the Empire of the Suns podcast. You hear him all the time on all the shows here on Arizona Sports. He's filling in for Gambo today, tomorrow, and Friday. Tonight is the NBA draft. It starts at 5. Tomorrow is round 2 of the NBA draft. It oddly starts at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That takes some getting used to not only separating them, but having it start that earlier in the day. And, of course, as things sit right now, Suns have the 22nd pick in the draft, but that is not the only story with the Phoenix Suns today. Matt Ishbia was compelled to put out on Twitter this afternoon, and this is a quote, NBA draft night is the best. Everyone talking about the drama and the storyline. Some are right and some are just wrong. My turn. Phoenix loves Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant loves Phoenix. And we are competing for a championship this year because we have the team to do it. Gotta love draft night. Go Suns. Close quote. In other words, almost semi blaming the fact that it's draft night for maybe content created by ESPN, ESPN ESPN.com. A lot of mentions last night after the Brooklyn-Houston trade that maybe the picks by Houston were acquired in order to tempt the Suns into some sort of Kevin Durant trade. Suggestion that Houston wanted Kevin Durant. Of course, none of this was based off of Kevin Durant wanting to leave or reports of Kevin Durant wanting to leave or Kevin Durant wanting to go to Houston, just that Houston was interested in him. Then Stephen A. Smith added fire to the flames today by saying that he's sure that the Suns want to get rid of Kevin Durant. All of this prompted this mad ish be a tweet. Kellen, the, the metaphor that I talked about earlier, and I really do believe in it, is that if you're a card player, sometime when you're sitting at the blackjack table and you've, you've, you've either done really poorly or you've done really well, the thought goes through your mind. I'm down 80 bucks. It's time to not be down 200 bucks. Let's get out of here. Exactly. Or I'm up 100 bucks, but I'm going to start to bleed ships here any day. And I'm not turning this thing around. It's time for me to walk away. It's time for me to walk away from this table. And I'll say that even though neither one of us think that Kevin Durant is getting traded, from the Suns' perspective, if you were to entertain the thought of trading Kevin Durant, it would be rooted in that, right? Like, is it time to walk away from this table because we're not going to win anymore if I sit here any longer? That's That's got to be the root of this if you're the Suns, isn't it? And there are a couple of attachments to that root, the main root, and there are a couple of roots attached to stick with your tree metaphor here to keep the metaphors a-rolling, as we are known to do here on this program. I think that the main place to start is that Devin Booker is 27 years old and he's still got a lot of time with him left. 
So you're looking at this from the perspective of trying to win right now, sure, but you still have an out right now if you just want to re-alter your timeline here. You still have an out where you can trade Kevin Durant and get back two or three pretty serviceable to pretty darn good players and be a really good to great team on paper for the next four to five years if you are able to keep re-signing guys, if guys are still improving in the way you expect, yada, yada, so on and so forth. Second route, Kevin Durant's trade value is never going to be higher than it is right now. If you wait to do this next year, guess what? His value is slashed in half. He's a rental. He's on a one-year deal. Now, are you still going to be able to get something for Kevin Durant? Absolutely, he's Kevin Durant. Even if he plays 40 games next year, gets hurt, his numbers are down, he's still going to fetch quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But this is the highest that his value is going to be. So where you and I both land is I just don't think they got to see the full picture yet. Yeah, and that's where I land. I wrote this at the start of the offseason, and I really do believe it, in that last year went so bad that it's hard not to be optimistic about next year. Like, so much went wrong. Their offense, in terms of its potential out of 10 that was fulfilled, like a 2, a 3 out of 10, maybe. Yeah. So I just look at how the Bradley Beal point guard thing and, like, what they tried to do with the backcourt, how the team clearly was not gelling or listening to the coaching staff at all. There are just several checks where I went, hey, when they listened to Frank Vogel, this roster was actually a really good defensive team, and I didn't know if that was possible. Yeah. So I find myself, much like the football team here, kind of just talking myself into this. And I don't know if I'm crazy or not. I know a lot of people listening would hit, click eject right now, but I want to see it out one more year. I feel like your best chance at a title is to still see it out one more year. But the I'm sitting there at the table thinking, I'm like, oh, man, like maybe it's just – Okay, 80 bucks. I'm up 80. That's like a nice, really nice lunch for two. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, 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 it's salvageable. I, 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 look, I think, and I, I agree with a lot of what you just said, but with one little caveat that I'll get to in a second. It, it's, it's, it's too soon to hit eject on this. Now, if, if we're underwhelmed at the trade deadline, I give myself the out to have that conversation in my head at the trade deadline yes. and not wait till the end of the season. If it's plodding along and it's not really fitting and it's not sticking, then we get to mid-February. I'm totally game for having a Kevin Durant reassessment tour reunion at that moment to say, okay, what are we doing here? And is this going to work? And is this going to go anywhere? But right now, today, June, whatever it is, 26, mm -hmm. Today, I feel like you owe it to yourself as an organization. You went through so many hoops to get to this point. Don't you have to see it through a little bit longer to see how much better it can get? Caveat to the caveat. I think what changes at the trade deadline is if you or I hear, well, this is their first year and the coaching staff and these guys were injured, you and I are going to be like, shut up. N no. Yeah. You're out of time. You're out of time. You, you, I don't care that this guy was hurt. I don't care that this rookie is now starting to settle in after a slow three months. I don't care for all these reasons why they went seven and three in their last 10, or this was their record after Christmas. We're past all of that optimism while they're still kind of figuring it out. You and I both need to see clear indicative signs at the trade deadline that this team is is headed for contention or is going to contend this year. That's it more so. It's you are going to contend this year. And if you or I do not see that vision that they're going to contend this year, yep. we're having a lot of meetings. We're not just having one. And we're talking about everyone. We're not just talking about Kevin. We're talking about Devin. Even, and we're talking about everyone. So even at the even at the trade deadline, you're talking about We're Devin. having meetings. We're, we're, I'm not we're doing it, but we're it. talking. Yeah. I, I, I don't I, – so you went to a place where I wasn't prepared to go to. I don't know if I'm going to Devin at the trade deadline, but am I, I – am not trading Devin at the at the trade but deadline. But you're, you're just having the conversations we're, internally about what's We're starting about to figure out, direction. okay, right. like if we trade Kevin, but we don't – but if we trade Devin too, like next year, do we just blow this whole thing up? Like those conversations that a lot of people are having now I understand, but the trade deadline is really when I think those will intensify. So despite all of the speculation about Houston and, and you and I at its root don't really believe that we know we're we're pretty sure. We we I don't want to say we know for a fact. We don't think anything's gonna happen with Kevin Durant tonight because it just doesn't seem like Kevin Durant wants anything to happen or the Suns want anything to happen. That is where this conversation should at least be born from. Is it, you know, do, do the Suns feel like they've kind of maxed this thing out? But I can't imagine that they and feel Houston's that way. And Houston's front office is like, you have us on speed dial when that day comes. We got your picks. Wait, we got everything you want. We got young players. 
when that moment comes, but if that, it does, you but, can call but us. That's what the that's where the reporting, if that's what you want to call it, this morning got a little uncomfortable because it almost turned into a, hey, Houston doesn't want Kevin Durant. They've stockpiled this stuff for Devin Booker. Mm -hmm. They they and, and that's where it's like, come on, man, really. No. You know, that's it. Like, they didn't stockpile this for Durant. They're stockpiling it for Booker. Now we've taken that large leap into that part of town, and I just wasn't ready to We're go. We're in the there. desert, though, and they're circling. Yeah, oh, the vultures are indeed circling. Join us for our final half day club event of the year tomorrow. Get your lower level tickets for only $9.87 to see the D backs take on the Twins tomorrow afternoon. Text half to 620 620, and we're sending you the link to purchase your tickets. Again, text half to 620 620. The Gambo Five, cool. The Kellen Five, well, let's find out what that's all about next on the Burns and Gambo Show. The NBA Draft is coming up tonight.